basically what this is, it's from a YouTube channel by the name of unscripted. And it is just uh, an AI, you know what you'll see it's it, but the concept is that this is the first honest game conference. Okay. Opening night of honest conference. And for the first time ever, one of our industry's greatest creators, the director and executive producer of Bethesda game studios. That's right. Todd Howard, everybody. And Todd is here to give us an honest account of Starfield. Thank you, Jeff. This is my first honest conference and I'm doing it because you said how great the crowd is here. And I so Todd, we love you, and this is a safe space. You can let the truth out now. Why did you want to make this game, Sarver? Why did you want to create a new world? We have dreamt of a game where we can truly break the creation engine in every aspect. <laughs> Once you've all upgraded your PCs, you'll be able to explore thousands of barren planets where a real <laughs> sense of loneliness will start setting in. I mean, we tried to do something new where you could explore with complete freedom in the galaxy, but something's wrong with the game. Like, and I caught, I can't quite put my finger on it. It can't be all that bad though, Todd. Well, crafting is worse. Outposts are worse. Companions will constantly moan at you. Perks are worse. There's fewer gear slots. You know, I could go on and on. Can you imagine <laughs> 16 times the loading screens though? Yeah, I wish I could talk about the loading screens. And it's quite an experience. And I know everyone here is very excited to, oh, uh, to wow. experience it soon. Um, so Todd, what, what bugs did you bring to Honest Hunt? Yeah, it's really cool. They, uh, we've built a 300-person seat theater where we're constantly looping bugs from the game. And what's the experience like? Well, to be honest, it's a it's a, it's a real nightmare. They're going to need to buckle up, and it's it's two hours they'll never get back. And I see a lot of things on the internet. I don't know. I'm not sure that's real. Let's move on to Quest then. Could you could you give us an example of what that's like? Yeah, Jeff. As an example of a of a quest, you'll go to a star yard. Talk to a lady, need to fetch a beverage. 10 loading screens later and you've got a beverage. That's it, that's the only quest in that handcrafted location. Surely there must be some improvements to the uh, creation engine. Hey, yeah, just wait until you see what we've done with global illumination, bucket physics, artificial intelligence, character variation, and our brand new cutting edge 2005 motion capture technology. <laughs> Add to this, I honestly believe we have the worst UI in the world because, <laughs> hey, you know, the modders will fix that. And after 100 hours in the game, I still have no idea where anything is in New Atlantis. I honestly have zero clue where my penthouse apartment is. And any Metacritic predictions for this, Todd? We're aiming for a controversial 7 out of 10. Yeah, it's uh, it's such an awkward experience, you know, and hopefully a, a nail in the coffin for the the creation engine. But but uh, Todd, what well, you and your team have played such a pivotal role in game development and have wow. created some of our fondest childhood memories. We'll still buy the game and chalk this all up to experience. And now at least we can look forward to Elder Scrolls Six. So thank you for all you've done for our industry, Todd. Everyone, Todd Howard. Thank you. Shout out to the Chess Club. <laughs> Shout out to the chess club. Oh my God, dude. I'm my face hurts already. My face hurts. That was utterly amazing. And whoever made this needs all of the success in the world. Wow. The little smug smirk. What he's like, yeah, we're aiming for a controversial seven out of 10. We're aiming for a controversial seven out of 10. Oh man, I love that. That's great. That's great. I'm actually really surprised that generally it seems like the, the discourse around Starfield has died out fairly quickly. Like, again, maybe it's just the circles I'm moving in, the bubble that I'm in, but it seems like largely people have kind of moved on. And to be fair, I mean, they just completed, like Xbox completed a major acquisition, biggest in the history of gaming. So obviously there's other things to happen, but still dude it's so good it's so good you know what i know everybody's freaking out because they're like oh no wars could start because you could use ai to create a a video of a politician saying something horrible that could start a war because they faked this message or something or people saying like oh no they're gonna make like deep fakes of celebrities doing horrible things so they get canceled even though they didn't do anything bad i understand those risks but if we also get this Maybe it's all worth it. <laughs> you know, maybe it's still worth it. After all of that, if we get this stuff, we can we can live with it. I think I think that might be the lesson.